Hey guys, what's up? Now here is a new video. Welcome to Project Mageblad episode 3. 150 divines of profit in 6 hours. I managed to farm an entire Mageblad in just 6 hours. It's absolutely insane. Now, there was a lucky drop here. I dropped an apothecary, but even without this really lucky drop, it would have only taken me 7 hours to farm an entire Mageblad. Blights are so under the radar right now. A golden oil is 175 chaos. And the blighted map is around 25 chaos guys, absolutely insane. And there's also a challenge that uh, requires you to complete some blights, so you're gonna be able to sell your blighted maps at any point in the league without any issues. Usually with this uh, project, the Mage Blood episodes, we try to farm an apothecary per video, but in this one we managed to farm an entire Mage Blood. Absolutely insane boys, let's take a quick look at the Atlas. And this is the Atlas skill tree that I used to farm a mage blood in only 6 hours. We're going for blights, we have the chance for map drop duplication, we have a shaper elder and the conqueror maps. Rest of the cosmos is sitting exarch altars, we're farming some heister contracts, some blueprints and we also have some delirium mirrors that we're gonna take along the way and we're gonna take the delirium rewards to level 4, level 5 or if you have a capable build and you can run the blight encounter under delirium you're gonna be able to take these delirium rewards to level 6. This atlas skill tree should be used with the blight rush setup. What exactly is blight rush? Well you're gonna buy some wasteful maps from the trade website and you're gonna roll them as is shown on the screen right now and besides that what you want to do is go inside the map, complete the blight, take down the map boss open a portal and go run another map. From time to time you're gonna get a delirium mirror and you're gonna complete it as you're going towards your blight encounter and of course from time to time you're gonna get some high skishes, maybe some altars that are gonna give you some nice grand eldritch embers. It's a really simple farming strategy, you're also gonna get the map showcase at the end of this video. Now let's take a quick look at the loot. This is the loot from the first 50 maps, we ran waste pools and we have some Divines, we have some nice currencies from the altars, we have some uh, stack decks, a lot of uh, blighted maps, we have invitations, shaper the conqueror maps, we have some tier 16 maps here, we also have some golden oil enchanted jewelry, we have uh, some golden oils, we have some fossils, a lot of things that you're gonna be able to get from this uh, blight rush farming strategy. Not a lot of big drops in these uh, 50 maps, we only I managed to get this uh, Voidborn key, but still I managed to make 25 Divines profit per hour, absolutely insane. Now there's a small problem with this farming strategy, waste pools are a bit expensive right now at 15 to 25 chaos in bulk. So let's say that you don't want to pay 15 to 25 chaos so to buy <laughs> some waste pools in bulk, what can you do? Well you can buy some 8 all maps in bulk and you're gonna be able to farm quite a lot of profit per hour. Now, if you guys have watched my solo level 100 guide, you know that I ran blights in Atolls, so I am pretty much burned out on Atolls this league. I decided to go with the jungle valleys, and uh, this is also a pretty nice test to figure out if we're gonna be able to generate our own waste pools, even without running an adjacent map. You wanna run Atolls because Atolls are an adjacent map to waste pools, and when you're running waste pools, you drop Atolls, when you're running Atolls, you drop waste pools, but Worst case scenario, let's say that you don't have that much currency, well you can go with the jungle valleys, thousands of these on the market right now, you're gonna be able to find jungle valleys and although you're not gonna be able to make 25 divines profit per hour, you're still gonna be able to make around 15 to 18 divines profit per hour even in this jungle valley setup. Now the jungle valley setup is gonna be a bit different, we're not gonna blight and boss rush, we're gonna fully clear them, okay? And um, this is the loot that we managed to get in 50 jungle valleys and we have some big drops. <laughs> we have a Valdo's box, we have a wealth and power which is around 5 divines right now and for the first time ever I managed to drop an apothecary from a, a random auto reward, absolutely insane. With this apothecary my profit per hour was 28 divines profit per hour, without it it's at around 15 to 17 divines profit per hour as we're about to see here in a moment in the spreadsheet. Quite a lot of loot that I managed to farm in these 100 maps, an entire mage blood guys in 6 hours, there is a lucky drop here, without this lucky drop, 7 hours to farm a mage blood. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. Ok boys and here are the numbers, one divine is 215 chaos, we have 
8 divines from currencies, 32 divines, most of uh, uh, these divines right here are from the golden oils guys and from the golden oils that I'm about to extract in a future video, it's gonna be so much fun. Besides that we have our maps and invitations right here at around 24 divines, absolutely insane, so much currency guys. 2725 chaos uh, for 109 blighted maps, they're currently going uh, 60 blighted maps for 7 divines, 25 uh, chaos and you're gonna be able to sell them without any issues because uh, there is a challenge, so if you wanna go to 40-40 this league let's say, you're gonna have to complete some blighted maps, not a lot of people run blights, you can sell them 60 at a time for 70 vines right now i actually sold 60 um, of the blighted maps that i have from a different project that we're gonna take a look at in a few uh, weeks uh, probably and uh, i managed to sell them in two minutes so i listed them on tft in the next two minutes they were sold guys instantly for 70 vines and um, besides that what i want to talk about is deception contracts right now which are 25 chaos guys 25 chaos for a deception contract and as you can see blueprints at 40 chaos so quite a lot of currency from just a few points that you're gonna use on your atlas skill tree we don't have a lot of big drops just a voidborn key at around 150 chaos and this is our investment right here and our profit per hour at around 25 divines uh, 2 minutes and 45 seconds on average to complete these uh, waste pools so I managed to farm around 25 divines profit per hour without uh, the lucky drops included and with the lucky drops included pretty much the same because as I mentioned we only dropped the void born key so this is the blight rush setup blight and boss rush setup that we're running in waste pools and the fully creating the maps in uh, jungle valleys is gonna give us around 16 divines profit per hour up to 20 divines profit per hour if we're gonna drop an apartment okay, but let's just uh, remove this for a moment here 16 to 18 divines profit per hour guys if you're gonna fully um, run your maps fully clear them and run blights in jungle valleys which is absolutely insane guys because you normally wouldn't <laughs> run uh, blights in jungle valleys but the golden oils are so expensive right now guys 175 chaos for a golden oil so we're able to hit absolutely insane numbers with blights uh, this leg. Um, this is also a nice uh, test uh, to figure out if we can generate our own waste pools. So this is a small simulation that I've uh, done here. We have uh, 21 waste pools that we dropped uh, just from our uh, favorited maps. And uh, besides that, we have 11 mesas. Now, if instead of running jungle valleys, I would have run atolls, I wouldn't have dropped mesas, they are adjacent. To jungle valleys instead these mesas would have been wasteful so for every let's say 50 maps uh, that you're gonna run atolls you're gonna get around 25 to 30 uh, wasteful maps so you're pretty much gonna alternate between farming 16 18 divines profit per hour and when you have wasteful you're gonna farm around 25 23 divines profit per hour on a slow build 20 divines profit per hour on a fast build you're gonna be able to run them slightly faster than this you're gonna make up to 30 divines profit per hour i will advertise this farming strategy as a 25 divines profit per hour one because this is how much i managed to farm with the blood and this is how i managed to farm an entire mage blood in only six hours guys absolutely insane you basically go inside the map you complete a blight encounter you take down a map boss along the way you find some uh, delirium uh, mirrors maybe some uh, high staircases and you come out of the map with a lot of loot around one divine per map profit or around 25 divines profit per hour in waste pools which is absolutely insane and if you don't want to run waste pools maybe you find them a bit too expensive then you can just run some uh, jungle valleys and you're still gonna make 16 to 18 divines profit per hour which again is absolutely insane just how much currency you can make with blights uh, right now like this video if you liked it, maybe drop a sub and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.